Hi everybody, it's Stephanie with Planning with Finetti. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm in the Holiday Planner and I added this sticker to the outside cover. I think it's pretty cute and adds a little detail there. Uh, merry and bright. And so this week what we're doing is week two of the Holiday Planner eight week challenge, which is the card list or cards. So if you're just joining us, um, I do have two previous videos, one that introduces the challenge and week one, which was recipes. So check those out in the description below. But this week we're talking about cards and getting that card list filled out. And with our challenge, if you've already done your cards, you can work on something else this week or you could have a free week. So the challenge really is meant to best fit whatever you need it to fit. So I have already gone ahead and filled out my card list. I can't show it to you because that information is classified. <laughs> I won't be sharing with you addresses and things, but I went ahead and started a brainstorm of the things I'd want to write about in my Christmas letter. Um, just kind of the positive things I'm able to pull out of this horrendous year. And then with this graph paper, I want to make a card list of um, people I want to send to. And then uh, if I receive a card from them, you could check. And if you've sent them a card, you can check. So I'm going to use some of these gold letters. This is from that first Christmas sticker book that came out two or three years ago. And it's just those gold foil letters. I'm going to have this say card list. I like to start in the middle and then work out. So it's a semblance of being centered. <laughs> and then I'm going to use my felt pen here to draw out what I want this page to say. Again, it's going to have a list of names or list of families, list of people. And then on the end, two check boxes, one for if I received a card from them, one from if I sent them a card. And I'm lifting that ruler in between each because I don't trust this pen not to smear. So I don't want to drag the ruler across the line I just drew. And then I get carried away and I go a little too low because I did want to leave space down at the bottom there to decorate. And I have this really cute mailbox sticker that says Seasons, Seasons Greetings. No, Special Delivery. That's what it says. Special Delivery. And I thought that's really cute for a card list page. Maybe some washi, like a washi sticker. Down at the bottom here. And this sticker is long enough to go across that whole page. So I'm just going to use a craft knife and the ruler again to trim that. And be careful using sharp objects. Just going to end it just shy of that mailbox. All right. And then I'll show you these sticker books that have kind of Christmas card stickers. And this winter book is this one that says uh, send Christmas cards. In the dates and holidays, you get mail holiday cards and that cute red circle with the envelope on it. And I thought about using this one with the red with the envelope, but having that other element down at the bottom, I think it would just be kind of off centered. Yeah, so those are the three that come in the dates and holiday sticker book. Sorry, it's a little out of focus there. And then the other ones I found were from the winter sticker book. Yeah, there's the send Christmas cards. And this green Christmas sticker book has another one of those mailboxes and a mail holiday cards in green. It's really cute. So check those Christmassy sticker books if you need um, stickers specific to sending cards. Okay, so I'm going to grab a sheet of lined paper so that I could write out a draft for my Christmas letter. And I thought it would be fun, even though it's just a draft, to decorate it anyways because I'm going to keep it in my planner. And I can look next year at what I said this year in those letters. I thought that'd be kind of fun. So season's greetings as if it's the beginning of my Christmas card. I'm just going to write out those thoughts about this year. Where we were able to find joy, where I was able to find peace. Yeah. We 
when you send cards do you write a letter too or do you just send send a picture just send a card what do you like to do And then I have another sticker for the end of this one. These Merry Everything, Happy Always, Love, Stephanie. <laughs> and then after I send those cards, I'll still have this draft in my planner again so I can look back at it next year. Okay, so that is pretty much all I could figure for the card section. I could go ahead and make up those cards um, I do have the addresses filled in. Again, I can't show you those, but trust me, I did it. And that's going to do it for this week. So if you are just joining us, check out those two previous videos, both the introduction that walk you through each week and last week's, which was, which was recipes. And then don't forget next week we have coming up the thankful page for Thanksgiving, because believe it or not, next week is Thanksgiving. And that Thanksgiving section of my planner, let me show you the one I did a couple years ago. Um, that thankful page. I did 30, but you could do one thing and write about why you're thankful for that one thing. You could pick as many as you want. You could have family members um, pick what they're thankful for and tell you why. And it's just this nice record to remember all the things we can be thankful for. Even if you don't celebrate Thanksgiving, it's a nice exercise to be grateful. And I hope you guys join us. So subscribe to see that video for next week and all those future weeks. I'm just going to tuck my Happy Planner cards back in that pocket. But let me know what you guys think. Click like if you like this video. Subscribe to see more. If you post your pictures on Instagram, use the hashtag Holiday Planner Challenge. But I hope you guys are playing along. It's a lot of fun. And the more I fill out this planner, the more I love it and the more I enjoy it. But thanks so much for watching, everybody. See you next time. Love you. Bye.